Friday night, you know those electric scooters, scooters we've been seeing buzzing around Indianapolis keep expanding their reach to Bloomington, West Lafayette, and now Speedway. But as Mary Mills tells us, the home of the Indy 500 for now has put the brakes on them. Well, yeah, there are scooters here in Speedway, several dozen of them, but right now you can't ride them, can't even find them. That's because this bird scooter and the rest of the flock are locked up in the evidence garage, the only place big enough to park them all. So they appeared in town earlier this week, um, and unfortunately we do have an ordinance that does not allow them to um, be in Speedway on the sidewalks. So uh, we started picking them up. Which is the same thing IU did when people started leaving their scooters where they shouldn't have. Town manager Jacob Blaisdell says he'd like to welcome the scooters, as Indy's done, at least give them a trial run. We'd like to work out an ordinance um, to see, you know, um, where they're able to, to be ridden and used and where they're not and how they should be parked. But he says they're still waiting to talk to Bird. While the scooters may not have been on the move for long here, people have noticed. I saw a couple here the other day. Yeah. Sounds rather dangerous, or it can be. Like elsewhere, you've got those who love them. Yeah, I would like to be on one, but I, I have no worries about it. And those who don't. No. <laughs> not for it at all. Last weekend, several fans took scooters to the air race at the Speedway. As for next year's 500, I think that would be cool because then we would have it for everybody to go around easy, easier and go yeah. faster. So we've had to do a lot of accommodating Uber and Lyft more recently to kind of put a designated area where they can kind of park and corral and we can send people back and forth. But of course we want to see it done in the right way so you're not going to have people arriving and then piling scooters up in the wrong place. For now, that's not a problem, as these two found out. So we pulled up on our map for the birds, and it shows where we are. Oh, yeah. And so then there's all the birds. So we were going to go there and rent one. Until they saw this. Yeah, right next to it, it says the police department. So you can't get them out. No, no, I don't think you can get them out. They're impounded. And will be until Bird pays the $20 per scooter per day fine. In the meantime, the town hopes to begin working with both Bird and Lime on a new ordinance. In Speedway, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Here in Indianapolis, the City County Council rules for scooters are in place. They're not allowed on sidewalks, they're not allowed on the Monon or the cultural trails, they're not allowed on the canal walkway, and they're not allowed on the White River State Park. Scooters must be upright when they're parked. They must be placed out of the way so people can easily get by them. I was on the Monon last yeah. weekend, and it's they're full. They're, of I know they're buzzing all, all over, over the place. The